Fatima has 30 seconds. Launch director on countdown one. SpaceX, Falcon Heavy, go for launch. Falcon Heavy is configured for flight. T minus 15, stand by for terminal count. 10, 9, 8. Side booster ignition. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Four ignition. Supersonic. Side boosters are now throttling back up to full Vehicle power. Has reached maximum dynamic pressure. We're past max Q, the period of maximum loads on the vehicle. Next up, we'll be waiting for the side boosters to begin to throttle down prior to booster engine cutoff and separation two and a half minutes into flight. GNC trajectory looks good on the Falcon Heavy. Reports show that the M1D engine performance is nominal. Contact engine sales begun. Side boosters have begun to throttle down in preparation for the upcoming shutdown in 20 seconds. Major event coming up Central with cool side booster down. shutdown and separation. Inside and shutdown. Side boosters. Beaker. Center. Which is not very good. Who is south and up. That's why I'm keeps going. Let's do Successful separation. We're coming up on Nico and shutdown. Coming up on bearing separation. Center core side engines on power also look good. Booster boost back shut down. Center core boost back on shut down. Bermuda acquisition of signal.
Wow. Wow. <laughs> Did you guys see that? That was awesome. That's the only thing I can <laughs> really I, uh, that was say absolutely right now. wild. Absolutely wild. <laughs> I, I got nothing else. Oh, man. Uh, recapping all the great things that you just saw there. Uh, successful liftoff from the pad, successful stage separation. But before that successful booster separation, you can see stage one. Uh, the two side boosters, pardon me, you can see the center core and you can see MVAC lit up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Then the beautiful shots of uh, Starman chilling in the Tesla Roadster. Uh, <laughs> absolutely incredible. Um, <laughs> on, on your screen at the moment, uh, you've got a few things happening. On the upper right, you've got MVAC D continuing its burn. Uh, on the upper left, you have the center core headed back towards the autonomous spaceport drone ship. And in the two bottom screens, you've got the side boosters headed back towards Cape Canaveral Air Force Station landing zones one and two. Uh, the next step coming up for the side boosters and the center booster uh, is the re-entry burn. Uh, that's going to slow it down from, uh, or slow all the boosters down from way faster than the speed of sound to just faster than the speed of sound uh, in order to reduce some of those aerodynamic forces and heating that occurs when you're moving that quickly through the atmosphere. And as you can see on your screen, that reentry burn for those two side boosters has begun. The side boosters entry burn is shut down. Side core entry burn is over. The center core in the upper left of your screen performing its own reentry burn. You can see the, the edge of Cape Canaveral in uh, both of the side booster cameras as those are coming in. Some PY and NY side boosters have saved. Center core entry burn shutdown. Uh, and even though those look very similar, those two boosters' uh, views, those are actually representing different boosters. Um, and they're heading towards Earth. They're about to begin their landing burns. We'll hopefully be able to bring you nice footage of that. Both side boosters transonic. And watch for the landing and lights to play at the tail end of that landing. Board. And that landing burn has started. H2, turn the button. Both boosters looking to be on track towards their respective Both landing boosters zones. Landing lines have started. Side boosters landing legs have deployed. And the Falcons have landed. Wow. LZ1, and LZ2, both side boosters, boosters have touched down. Landing off of the landing lines. 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 And coming up very shortly, the center core will be attempting its landing on the autonomous spaceport drone ship. Check on your screen. Sometimes this footage goes out when it approaches the drone ship and the heavy vibrations make it lose signal. We're crossing our fingers, that's not the case right now. Stage two, nominal parking orbit insertion. 